Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. Suspended MLB and NFL announcer Tom Brenneman breaks his silence after he used an anti-gay slur during Reds game and he has some things to say that are frankly unbelievable we'll check it out but you know when you get into trouble like this when you say something you're not supposed to say you say a word you're not supposed to say in a fashion that clearly indicates you've said that word before one of the things you probably don't want to come out and say is oh, i never said that word in my entire life We'll get into his exact statement, but you know what? After a situation like this, you usually have a few options on how you're going to handle this. If you're Tom Brenneman, you could come out and just say, yeah, I said it. That's what I say. I say it all the time. Uh, I got some work to do with myself. I'm not the best person. But you know what? At least he would have been honest if, that, if he said it like that. You know, he didn't have to go to that extreme, but, you know, at least be honest about it and uh, admit, yeah, you say that word. It's in your vocabulary, you know. Uh, you could go with that idea, you know. Some people are going to be mad about it and say and call you names and think that you're a terrible person. But hey, at least you're being honest and you're not bullshitting people. Another way, you, another approach you can take is to be more apologetic, but still admit to what you did and admit that you've done it before and don't act like you know this is a one-time thing, just some weird thing just slipped out and you never said that word in your life. Um, but come out and be honest. Apologize to the people who you offended. Apologize to the you know to the communities that you offended, the communities that you were slurring. And, you know, just simply at least at least try to show that you are truly apologetic, not just for getting caught, but for not, you know, it's, it's more than just saying a word. I know people are going to say, dude, you just said a word. So what? You said a stupid word. Uh, I've heard it many times in my pri prior couple videos. And it's not just that you say a word. It's that you said it to millions of people over the air and in the way that he said it. And it's not good. I'm sorry, but uh, you're going to be get suspended for that at a minimum. So if you really want to come back from that. I feel like that's the two approaches you're going to have to take. Or either way, you're going to have to not just deny it completely that you've ever said the word, which is exactly what he did. But uh, we'll get into that. Three weeks ago, Wednesday, broadcasting career of Tom Brenneman came to a screeching halt after he used an anti-gay slur during a game between the Reds and the Royals. Brenneman, who was suspended by the Reds and pulled from the NFL broadcast, gave his first post-incident interview to the New York Post. And he said, believe me, I know there are a lot of people who are still very angry I understand that, okay? We got nothing so far. Um, and here's what he said, in case you don't know. He said one of the FAG capitals of the world. And we don't know. Uh, we assume he was talking about Kansas City where he was, but we haven't got confirmation on that. It's unknown what led to the remark or the context behind it. The comment was made after a commercial break. Actually, right after the commercial break, before they went live, before he thought they were live again, but they actually were live. And here's when he says it. I have never used that word before in my life. Everything happened so fast. And I'm watching literally everything fall apart at the seams while trying to announce a baseball game. I couldn't even tell you what happened, where it came from. Look, I said it is all that matters. The rest is irrelevant. Then why are you talking about the rest? I said it, and I own it, and I'm the one who has to live with it. The realization of the incredible hurt that I've caused using the word has been breathtaking. It's been absolutely amazing, the amount of grace and forgiveness and support. You know, I don't know. Something about this statement rings bullshit. I was going to say rings hollow, but I mean... I, I'm not trying to be that, you know, the cancel guy. And I know everyone gets mad when I when I talk about this situation. Or not everyone, but a lot of people get really upset and say, dude, it was a word. It, you know, he sh shouldn't, shouldn't get fired for it. And I even said, you know, I hope he doesn't actually get fired for it. I hope that he just gets suspended. But at the same time, you know, your reaction to something doesn't matter. And when he comes out and says, I've never used that word before in my life. And uh, you might say, well, you said you never used that word. I said, I don't use the word. It's not part of my vocabulary. I don't use the word. I didn't, never said I never used it before in my life. Um, but I don't go around using it like he did. You can tell that there was there was a little bit of vitriol behind it. So yeah, I'm not saying I've never used the word. I wouldn't even say that. I've probably used every word that you could think of at some point in my life. Been around 40 years to think I've never said a word, repeating it, reading it, saying it, just saying this guy said this. So I'm not saying I've never even used the word. In fact, I've probably I've had to use it to tell people what he said when they say when I talked to him. Do you hear what the Reds announcer did? Now I've been spelling it out because I don't like to say it because it sounds nasty because of the connotation of it when it comes out. I don't like to say it. So I've been spelling it. I say F A G, but 
Yeah, I don't even like to say it, even to tell people what he said. So I, it's not a word I've used very much, but it's definitely, I'm not going to say I've never used that word before in my life. Um, and for Brenneman to say that after we heard him say it and the way that he said it, the one time he happened to be live and didn't realize it, that's the word he uses. And he uses it like that and expects people to believe that he's never used that word in his life. Does anybody believe that? Does anybody going to say in the comment section, man, I mean, he said it, and I believe him, you know, we can't prove otherwise. No, we can't prove otherwise, but we have something called common sense. Does that mean he should be fired because he's used it before? Of course not. But just, I just don't like getting bullshit. Why, why are you bullshitting us? Why are you treating us like idiots? Of course you've used the word freaking hundreds of thousands of times. Stop it. We know you've used the word. We heard how you said it. So stop it. You don't own up to it. According to the Cincinnati Enquirer, Fox Sports Ohio released a statement shortly after the Reds. The language that Tom Brenneman used this evening is hateful, offensive, and in no way reflects the values of Fox Sports Ohio. And as we read, yada, 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 yada. The 56-year-old Brenneman, 56 years old, never used the word in his entire 56 years. And one day he just decides to call a place the FAG capital of the world in quite a hateful manner. Um, but anyway, he remains off the air, hopes for a shot at redemption. If I get another shot, someone will be hiring a better person than that person who walked out the door. Why? The person who walked out the door never used that word in his life. The person who walked out the door on August 19th was a pretty good guy. He's never said that word in his entire life. You even said that day, you know, you're a man of faith and this and that. And you're this wonderful person. So, I mean, why are you a better person now? Because the person who walked out that door had never used that word in his life. This statement doesn't make a lot of sense. So you're such a better person. You've, you've improved so much. What was wrong with you before? What was wrong with you before? You've never said that word in your life. You said it yourself. You know, just be truly apologetic. Don't be sorry you got caught. Show that you're apologetic. And, and again, people are going to get mad at me acting like I'm demanding an apology. I'm demanding this. I'm demanding that. Only thing I'm demanding is you don't bullshit people. Okay, that's it. That's all. I'm not demanding that, but um, I would appreciate that if you want your job back, if you want to come back on the air, you know, you you blew it. You did make a mistake. We can all agree he made a mistake. He's, he's, you didn't want to say that word over the air. I also believe in second chances. I believe that this wasn't the biggest mistake ever made. This guy's not, I don't think this guy's a monster. He didn't go kill or rape or murder anybody. Um, I understand all that. But at the same time, it is his job to represent this team, represent this city, and talk over the air to millions of people. And that is a big-ass fucking mistake. And the way he handles that mistake also, from, in my opinion, has a lot to do with how fast he should be back, you know, whether he should be welcome back or not, and how we should feel about him. And so far, when you, when you say stuff like that, I've never used that word before in my life. I just said the F word shortly ago. Guys, I've never said that in my life. I'm 40 years old and I've never said the F word. So I apologize for that cuss word because that's not me. Bullshit, I cuss all the time, guys. I wouldn't even try that shit. And I've even said this word that he said. I've said it, I've said it in anger, been a long time, but kids used to say it when I was growing up, it was definitely part of my vocabulary. I haven't said it in many, many years in that way, in any kind of a, a mean way. I'm not saying because he said that word makes him the worst person ever, but just don't bullshit people. And that's the bottom line. So let me know what you guys think. And again, you know, hey, if they want to bring him back at some point, I'm, not, I'm fine with that. I'm not saying he needs to lose his career and, uh, you know, just be ostracized for the rest of his life. I'm not saying that, but I don't appreciate bullshit. Simple as that, guys. But let me know. Have a fantastic day, everybody. And let me know what you think of this story. And I hope you have a great one. And I uh, hope you're not too hard on me about this. You know, I'm not trying to be cancel culture, but I'm just saying, you know, don't don't lie to people, man. Just be straight up, be honest, and, um, you know, people will be understanding. But uh, when you say crap like that, yeah, I don't know about that. So have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you next time. See ya. When the giants come to town.